Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at creating stairs in Blender with the Archipack plugin. I'm going to be using version 2.8, which you can download directly from the website from blender.org. It's in release candidate version right now, so if you just click on the link, then you'll go and be able to download the release candidate, which soon will be uh, released. All right, so in Blender, if you go to File, or rather edit preferences and you go to add-on and then search for Archipack and make sure that it's enabled and once you click it you can close out I'll get rid of my cube and then go to add mesh Archipack stair and it doesn't matter which one you start with because we'll customize it quite a bit. So I'll just start with wood. So that's the initial object that we get to see. And you can see already that it's quite nice in the sense that we have some parameters that we can play with and it dynamically adjusts itself. The one thing it doesn't do in case you're an architect that's been using Revit is it doesn't automatically create the number of risers between a set height. So we sort of have to still do a manual process, but at least it calculates um, the rails, the railings. Right, so now to, mo to edit this, to modify it, if we click on properties, Archipack, So we have all the parameters that we can edit here. So what we'll do is change the steps. So first, let's see where it was. We have to change from I stair to user defined stair. Right, so now we should be able to have as many parts as we want to make. So let's start with making three parts. So first part is straight stair, second part we can say straight landing and it adjusts itself. So if we continue let's make five parts. So part number four let's make it curved landing And we can change the angle. And we can also change whether it's straight, whether the edges are straight or curved. So if we make it curved here, it looks a little bit better. So let's make more parts. I always add two because we always need a landing and another tread of stairs and not another run of stairs. So straight, I'll do another curved landing. I'll change the second bit to curved as well. And now if we change the overall height, we get something fairly complicated that can be achieved fairly quickly. I'll just do one last bit, add two more, go down and say curved landing again, and let's keep the next to stair. And for the curved landing I'll make the right shape curved. And all of this is still quite easily modifiable. So if we change the width, it will change adjust all the sections. So one other bit that I like to play with is the handrails. So if we disable slice, it actually creates a more continuous handrail, which I prefer.
and then we can add we can remove the panels and add smaller elements although now I'm seeing there, there's a slight issue it seems like over here not sure where that comes from wonder if we make the handrail sliced yep so for some reason something is changing I'll probably report a bug to the dev developer for that uh, right so with the handrails we can also add a couple of extra um, these are strings so with the handrails we can also add a couple of extra rails that's what I was looking for and we can change where these are positioned and we can change the number of rails that we have now again this isn't the best looking stair you know maybe I would even just end up using the, the actual steps from here and recreate the the railings from the side stringers but it is very quick and intuitive which for concept architectural design is quite important thanks and let me know if you find this useful